I'm stood outside Old Trafford. No, no, really, I am stood outside Old Trafford. This is the East Stand, formerly known as... Well, you would have said this was K Stand or the scoreboard end. This is where away fans used to traditionally go and for big cup games like the Liverpool game, it's where 9,200 Scousers were. It actually looks quite nice at night time, but only five years ago, the girders hadn't been properly painted. When this was built, 2000, I don't think people can remember this, but United put a huge Manchester United badge above the Manchester United illuminated letters and it just didn't look right. It just looked a bit naff and it lasted about three weeks before the club just took it down and we never saw that again. So Old Trafford now, it holds 74,000. I think it's still a very good stadium. I think reports of its demise have been greatly exaggerated, but it's not as good as it could be and stadium developments have advanced a lot. And that's why for 15 years I've been writing about the need to develop Old Trafford, expand the capacity. And the focus on that for most of the time was doing the main stand over to that way, now called the Sir Bobby Charlton stand. That's the only side of Old Trafford, which isn't a double or triple tier. So on that side over there is the North stand, the Sir Alex Ferguson stand. With 25,300 seats, it is the biggest stand in English club football. When Manchester United fans sing, we've got one stand bigger than your ground, it's actually true. One stand here is bigger than Bournemouth, Luton. In fact, Bournemouth and Luton put together, all eight sections of those two stadiums still wouldn't be as big as the North stand. And then at the opposite end from here is the famous Stretford end. So we have seen some changes at Old Trafford in recent years they've been largely cosmetic and I've welcomed the fact that people are talking about either redeveloping Old Trafford which I was always in favour of or maybe even a new Old Trafford on this site not where we are but on the other side because the club to their credit brought up lots of land in the early 90s because all the area around Old Trafford was Trafford Park Industrial Estate it's the world's first industrial park apart from on that side which is Gorse Hill which is a part of Stretford Trafford and then over on that way you've got the ever increasing Manchester skyline which looks pretty spectacular at night time last year I've started to feel more comfortable with the idea of a new stadium I'd just like to see something done. I think most United fans would as well. United should have a bigger stadium. Demand for tickets is at an all-time high, despite the team not being great. And whatever is done will be expensive. So we see figures quoted now from Sir Jim Ratcliffe, maybe a billion to redevelop Old Trafford, maybe two billion to start afresh. And they're just the figures being quoted now. No building projects coming on time, sorry, on budget so you'd have to assume that it's going to be even more and where's that money coming from but so Jim Ratcliffe's really keen not just on the actual stadium but in helping to regenerate the area around it it's not bad it was bad 30 years ago but it's not bad now and it just could be much better there should be more residential here you've got the Bridgewater Canal 100 yards to that way the Manchester Ship Canal, 200 yards to that way. You've got amazing transport links. You've got a metro there, a metro there, there, there. You've got dual carriageways. You've got a railway station, the main rail line between Manchester and Liverpool, which should be used. It was used for decades. There's an Old Trafford station halt just over there. It's no longer used. It's bizarre that people are travelling into Manchester and used to be able to travel to Old Trafford by train and can't do that. This is an issue that's going to carry on. It's not something that's going to be dealt with overnight. The, it's a huge project. INEOS have done several huge projects. They won't be daunted by this at all. I think as well as United fans benefiting from it, the local community should as well. Because too often United is seen as the neighbour on the doorstep, which doesn't really have much contact with the local community. I also think that fans should be properly consulted on the stadium because while fans aren't putting the money up front, the fans are ultimately the ones who are going to be paying for Old Trafford. I'd love to see Old Trafford hold 100,000. If Barca are going up to 105, which they are, why can't Manchester United? United's 
average attendances of the last 10 years are higher than Barcelona's. Demand, as I keep saying, is higher than it has ever been. And I also think it's really important that tickets are as accessible as possible. Don't just fill a new Old Trafford with too many executive facilities. I've got no problem that there are some executive facilities because already there's 9,000 executive seats inside of here. Don't really have a problem with that. It brings in a disproportionate amount of income. But I see some of the new big American stadiums and I've been to them in Vegas, in Los Angeles, in New Jersey. And they're absolutely magnificent on one level, but they're a bit too corporate on another. And we should remember that Old Trafford is a football ground in a working class city. And I'd hate the idea of it to be filled with too many um, highly priced executive uh, suites. So atmosphere is another issue. You know, the acoustics should be as good as possible, but then United fans have got to play the part there. And just as I say that, someone starts trying to contribute to the atmosphere himself, and that's great. In this area, I'm seeing now towers going up everywhere, and... This is an example of Manchester booming. And from here, if, if you go one mile, two kilometers, more or less, from here to the city center, a corridor of high rises are being built year on year alongside the, the Manchester Ship Canal or where the River Irwell goes into the Manchester Ship Canal. We're seeing progress. Is it progress? Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. Who's buying these houses? Manchester needs houses, not just swanky, expensive apartments but houses for, for local people, there is a shortage. So we can somehow work in uh, positives where people benefit from new housing, affordable housing. It's idealistic of me to say that, but I think you can see where I'm coming from. I think there's gonna be loads of consultations, but the Glazers did nothing. You know, when they took over in 2005, the plans had already been, been passed to build the new quadrants, that bit there. They see 8,000 seats. So Old Trafford's capacity has jumped from 44,000 in 1993 to 50,000 in 1995 to 60 and then 68,000 at the start of the noughties with the two end stands. And then the final jumps came with the, with the quadrants it needs to keep growing. It can be bigger. And I think that most fans are keen for that to happen. Fans have got different views of whether they want a redevelopment or whether they want a totally new stadium. I get there's some emotive issues as well. People have got family members whose ashes were spread on there. Wouldn't it be lovely to keep this stadium as well? To have some sort of facility which was used for the women's team, for the 21s they're not going to need a 76,000 seat stadium. Actually, it's come down It's come down in the last few years by 3,000 because there's more executive and more disabled seats. Keep an eye out for what's going to go on, but I'm pretty optimistic and I'm infused and I'm a bit excited. But I say that as someone who uh, once started dating a girl and would bring her on the way to Salford Keys, the, cinema over, the cinemas over there, which are now closed, but it's dead exciting when they opened up to stop by the Stretford end and take some pictures. And yeah, she binned me soon after that. But I'm very enthusiastic about <laughs> Old Trafford and I just want Manchester United to have one of the best stadiums in the world. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest club in the world and should have a stadium to match.